CBS 4 News team coverage moves now to Caesar Sayak's social media profile. He was active across multiple platforms. CBS 4's Ty Russell has been looking at those accounts. So, Ty, what have you found? Rudabay Caesar Sayak mostly posted about politics. He even shared conspiracy theories, but along with showing his support for President Trump and the Republican Party, Sayak also wanted his friends and followers to know when it comes to Democrats, he didn't agree with them. On Facebook, take a look at these people. You study these people. Whether inside at a rally or outside, Caesar Sayak proudly showed his support for President Trump. He wore a Make America Great Again hat in several pictures. On Twitter, Sayak expanded that support for all Republicans. He praised them and often wrote negatively about Democrats, like Democratic donor and businessman George Soros. Just last week, the FBI says a suspicious package with a device inside was found outside his home. It matches the one sent to other Democrats. On social media, Sayak also discussed far-right conspiracy theories and those about former Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School student David Hogg. Sayak also claimed to be Native American. He started this tweet from nearly two weeks ago stating, We unconquered Seminole Tribe, Hard Rock, millions of our customers. Today, the Seminole Tribe, Seminole Gaming, and Hard Rock International told CBS4 there's no evidence Sayak was a member or employee. On LinkedIn, Sayak described himself as a promoter, booking agent, owner, and choreographer. Other pictures show the pipe bomb suspect at the gym or outside a Thai boxing center. The suspect's Facebook page was taken down today following users flagging posts. Now, the Facebook detection system also found violations of community standards. In the control room, Ty Russell, CBS4 News.